mate. She's off, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, Mark, how we doing, mate? You all right? Uh, how you doing, Polly? All right, mate? Yeah, appreciate the invite. I mean, I did get onto you on Facebook. I see yeah. a little picture of your car on, on, yeah, on, yeah, on the group. Put it on. Yeah, man, absolutely stunning. Before we go into the car, do you want to uh, mention who you are, your company, and where yeah, we are? Yeah, so, yeah, I'm Mark Resty. Um, I've got a company called TH Restorations. I work out of Bucks and Derbyshire. I cater for anything. As long as it needs panel repairs, I do full on restorations, ground up rebuild. Yeah, just give us a shout. Yeah, yeah. yeah Derbyshire, anywhere, yeah. I'll there. leave the links in the description. But, Mark, we've got this stunning mark one focus rs van not estate van yeah. right like wh where do we begin with this i mean what kind of works had to be done i originally bought this van as sort of a rolling shell so i i wasn't the one that actually did work on it mm -hmm. um as soon as a friend of mine sent me the picture of i thought yeah i've got to have that it's different it stands out yeah i had to buy it but i bought it as a bare shell no loom no engine ZTEC front end, RS back end. So it's not just looks, you're saying loom, engine, gearbox, yeah, had, everything he RS? Nothing, he had nothing in it. Nothing. So I've had to buy pretty much everything, the RS clocks, the gear selectors, yeah. the um, engine, the box. So you say you've got tubular manifold, we've got, uh, is it a hybrid turbo or? Yeah, I've got a Sabre 400R hybrid turbo. Oh, it's a Sabre uh, turbo, yeah? Yeah, Okay. so I've had, um, I've had basically quite a lot done to this mm -hmm. uh, because of how close the manifold sits to the head i've had to change it for a standard z tech instead of black top yeah the tubular manifold it looks a bit crazy and the slam panel had to get cut straight but i had to get it right. ceramic coated yeah um, i've got the viber techniques engine mounts okay and um, they're all around i've got a full custom uh, three inch exhaust system made by rpm fabrications mm -hmm. uh, full custom hard pipe kit you've got the turbo down here yeah yeah so who's it uh, actually tuned by? Uh, this was tuned by Jam Sport in Northampton. Okay, yeah, these guys are yeah. all over the Mark 1s, aren't they? Yeah, so they're around the Z-Tex, I think they race Z-Tex, so they do know the, the way around them. What did you say power was roughly? Uh, power was, it was dynoed at 373. 370, wow, nice. Yeah, if you look under the you'll notice it's got the BC BR Racing Series coilovers. Yeah, I just wanted to make it so it held to the road a lot better. I've gone about doing some suspension mods to it, some uh, adjustable arm mods, stuff yeah. like that. The, um, Semi slicks. Yeah, so you're running the Nankang tyres, yeah? Yeah. Nankangs. Nankangs. And Sli these... Slightly wider. Has it got the RS diff? Yeah, it's got the RS diff. Like I said, the box and the engine is a genuine Focus RS one. Right. So everything is, is is what a Focus RS would perform like. What would you say? Is there a weight difference? Obviously, it looks longer and bigger. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say there's a weight difference because if, at the back of mine it's stripped out. I'd say it sort of even itself out, probably about the same weight mm -hmm. ratio as each other. Yeah, they're so, pretty light, weren't they? What are they? 12, 1300 kilos or something, aren't they? Yeah, I, I don't think they were that, truthfully. Yeah. And what would you say it drives? I mean, have you driven an RS, a Mark 1? Yeah, you... I've, I've, I've had a drive of a Mark 1. It, it drives exactly the same. Like you said, it runs a, an RS rear subframe, right. RS front subframe, so everything on it is RS. It's a genuine RS, basically. Yeah, it's basically it's a, a genuine a... RS in a van. What's it like with putting in its power down is it is it um you gotta um, feed the throttle in or is it is it yeah it, it can get a bit larry top end mm -hmm. it's got a bit of a crazy boost curve on it right but yeah it makes it for a fun drive yeah yeah no check this out guys man look he's even got the sparco seats you can see look the rs gearbox five speed manual you've even got the engine start as well down there is that is that all working yeah. as well did you notice a little uh, detail it's got treble one oh it's right the black. that treble one, one. <laughs> yes one yeah, so how many, I forgot how many there was. I think there might have been 4,000 or something. But yeah, yeah look. at 4,500 folks are RSs. There's only one folks yeah. are RS, man. And what's it like? to get any attention? Because, mate, like, it's, look at it. It's awesome. It gets nice. attention everywhere. People want to take pictures. Yeah. People want to be seen. Yeah, guys, man. I like this a lot, man. And some of you will know that I did recently do a giveaway on one of these. Super rare car, man. I don't know what it is. I, I, know, I know what it is. It's the arches on the Mark 1 RS is what I love. But... Look at that, like you said, one of one. Is there anyone else that's done a conversion of this or? No, no, nah, it's not even. They do do a focus van, but it's based on a hatchback with the uh, quarter window sealed up, so it's nothing like this. People do tend to mistake for an Astro van, but it's definitely not an Astro van, it is nah. a focus. Oh, right, Mark, should we jump out and take a spin? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's do it, man. Guys, quick reminder Sunday, the 22nd of May, I'm going to be revealing the winner of this Shadow Edition M140i, which one of you will be winning for 99p yes you heard me right 99p one of you will be walking away with this car it stays two tuned over 425 brake horsepower it's got a full body kit finished in mineral gray full service history 42,000 miles on clock i'll see you literally on the llf games facebook 10 30 22nd of may fingers crossed good luck to everyone who's entered and i'll see you there I have driven 
about three hours to come film this car because it is very very special the roads look really nice but yeah mark one rs lads like as i say recently i did give one away and it is literally an rs inside it's identical yeah look but we've got the van in the back that's sick how much do you drive it then i drive when weather's nice only because of the tires really because they're absolutely shocking in the uh rain so when the weather's, weather's nice and yeah i'll take out for drive look at that up there man <laughs> Well, I just sometimes wish that you asked. Aggressive though, I mean. Yeah, I think when, it, you know them when Jamsport mapped it, they're known for partially mapping cars. Yeah, well that's how it feels, it's like yeah, form, all or nothing almost, isn't it? Yeah, it's just literally, you just want to be driven. These uh, BC racing coilovers, I like them a yeah. lot, man. It's got a set on my Civic. Yeah, the lower springs. So it just gives it a little bit more comfy ride on the road. Yeah. As you can see, we're in the countryside, it's plenty of potholes. Yeah. So nice over I the bumps. I just wanted a bit of in between, so I wanted to handle. Yeah, as you can tell. Yeah. Yeah, so we, you'll um, yeah, give it a fresh in to see what she's like. Yeah, so you can see, she's all planted on the road. <laughs> Mate, yeah. she's off, innit? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I mean, this is probably the fine line, I think. A little bit more than this, yeah. it's going to be a bit all over the place, oh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, mate, it'll start to make it a bit undrivable. I've mentioned it twice now, but obviously I give away the Mark 1 RS. And I was driving that car, you know, not daily, but I, I got a little used to, to you know, how it how it drives. And, and I can say that I, I think this drives better, definitely. Because that one did have stock suspension. But that car is, the second you put your foot down, it threw itself into a wheel spin. I'm not getting that with this. Obviously, we've got the Nankang tyres. They're not yeah. the AR1s. They are, are they still semi slicks or? Yeah, so I didn't really want to go for the AR1s, mm. only for the fact is it's a, um, a fast road car. Yeah. And if it got stuck out in the rain, standing water, yeah, yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah. I'll be basically aquaplaning with the power of this. So yeah, yeah, I just yeah, went yeah, with the NS2Rs, so it was a toss up between the NS2Rs and the PS4s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know what? Nice build this. So, uh, Mark, what do you reckon you've done on the car, money wise? What do you reckon the previous owner like? Probably it's about 18 and a half grand now that I've spent on this car, which, considering it's a total one off, I think it's money well spent. That is, yeah. It saved me a lot of money by buying this car already, panel the way it is. If you used to go to any body shop and ask them to do this to a focus estate, yeah, you'd be on for a six or seven thousand pound. So, guys, I'm going to end the video there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and Mark, once again, thank you, bro, for the no invite. Worries. I was saying in the video, like I just came because I thought it looked cool, but it actually drives amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. And I've driven them one for a little while now, a couple of weeks I've driven one, and it drives better. Yeah. So that's a, you know what I mean? That's a massive thumbs well, up. Well, that's a compliment then. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, guys, till next time.
keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. See the smoke when I drive past. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Make the rules disappear.